Bentley Report with John Spencer. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Bentley Report. I'm your host, John Spencer. Today we have a great show lined up for you guys. Uh, one of our favorite things to do here at The Bentley Report is a little piece that we like to call Better Know a Dorm Room. We're going to hit you guys with that a little bit later, and then to cap off our show today, uh, we have an exclusive interview with Dave Firestein. Um, but first up, it's time for Bentley News. First, breaking news concerning the very journalistic fiber of the Bentley community. Let me ask you a question. Has anybody picked up the Vanguard this week? No? Anybody? Come on, people. It's the only information source that we have on this campus. Somebody must read the paper. Well, unbeknownst to most people, the Vanguard is not a secret terrorist cell. It's not part of Al-Qaeda. It is the official newspaper of the Bentley College community. So to look into this a little bit further, uh, we now go to our senior news correspondent, Michael Muldoon. Mike, how are you? I'm great, John. But the news out of Bentley is not. Michael, as your research suggests, it, it seems we have a serious problem here at Bentley. Yes, John. It appears the majority of Bentley College students simply do not read the Vanguard. I mean, it's the only newspaper available. How else are these kids getting their source of information? You know, where's the news source coming from? Well, it seems that students simply do not feel that there's anything useful in the Vanguard to read. I, however, disagree. Let's take a look at today's headlines, for example. Bentley's Dana Center renovations, a $12 million success. It seems that Bentley College executives, like many southern colleges throughout the country, have found a way to incorporate cheap fast food with innovative workouts. In this fashion, kids can go to the new Dana Center, grab a milkshake to hydrate themselves, work out, and eat a triple cheeseburger with fries all in the same building. Sounds like a great idea to me, John. That does seem like an excellent idea, Michael. Maybe they'll have to start installing some, you know, movable sidewalks or something. Well, John, those are in the plans for the 2010 track and field building. What the hell? <laughs> Meeting a banana, John. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mike. Okay, next up on the agenda, Bentley College is contemplating changing its name to Bentley University. Um, with the ongoing pre-scandals and whatnot, Bentley executives felt embarrassed to be confused with Boston College, BC. Uh, therefore, we just had to change our name to B, uh, Bentley University. Uh, now we can be confused with Boston University, BU. Go figure. On to other recent news. The green space on lower campus has been named Lil G. L-I-L-G, Lil G, not to be confused with Big G, a popular name for a rapper. And speaking of one-hit wonders, fame strikes Bentley. Bob Saget will be performing live later this month at the Bentley Dana Center. 
Bob, who began his career on such memorable shows as Full House and America's Funniest Home Videos, now travels the country telling crude jokes about sex and violence. This once noble housewife has now become a <laughs> man. Okay, further on Bentley News, uh, we have a point of debate regarding career services. It has come to my attention that several Bentley students have been complaining about the lack of help from this department. The students say that when they enter this department, uh, they, they go to seek out advice on what they're going to do for the rest of their life or where they're going to go and their careers and whatnot and so on. And they always seem to be leaving with stacks and stacks and stacks of paper. And these papers generally are talking about resumes, you know, how to write your resume, how to create your resume, the Bentley style resume, if you will. Um, so this way, Bentley is able to have all of its graduates have the exact same resume, therefore making Bentley College the most consistent, independent, sophisticated, and institutionalized college in the entire world. <laughs> Lastly, on our agenda today, we have an excerpt from the infamous Bentley police log, if I may. And I quote, Tuesday, September 12th, 9.57 p.m. A motor vehicle accident occurred behind the tree dorms. Campus police reported encountering a car driving the wrong way on Fire Road by the trees and told the driver to please turn around. While attempting to turn around, the driver backed into a dumpster. How do you not see dumpster. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our news portion of this program. Uh, what I'd like to do now is pass it off to senior housing correspondent Michael Muldoon for part one of a 436 part series, Better Know a Dormer. Hello. Hello. Michael Muldoon, nice senior housing you. correspondent, The Bentley Report. Aloha. Welcome to Coastal Wild. Thank you very much. Come on in. Take a peek inside. So, I'm here to find the five greatest things about this dorm room. What separates it from every We're other dorm room? I'm going to tell you why room. this is the best dorm room on campus. This is reason number one. This. This, this hard glass here. Yes, the glass. glass. The glass itself. Well, I mean, look out the glass. The view, then, you mean? Yes. The view. Exactly. Ah, yes, the very view. nice. I see there's some people carrying a fan here. There, yep. It's very interesting. Yep. I know him. Oh, right. Really good. This, that, that is, can't even believe that you would even think. Leave that there. Humorous, at best. So the second thing here we yes, have. Yes, the second thing. Yes. Well. This, 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 this picture here. Wow, it just feels very nice. What, what, how did you put this? Oh, wow. Interesting. This, can I keep this? Um, if you want to sketch I just, you know, well, I mean, why not? It's like a trophy. Oh. Sure. So our third thing we have. Third um, thing. Okay, well, moving on. We have, uh... The couch. Oh, yeah, if you mind holding this for me for a second. Oh, I just want yeah. yeah. Wow. Now, this, this is very intricate designs here. But I'd like to think so. Yes, and this was homemade, no doubt. Homemade. 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 Wow. Needle. Very, very soft. Yes. Plush. Plush. Extravagant. Extravagant. Yeah. Incredibly extravagant. So, I'm just going to you know, test this out a little bit here. Wow. Oh, it's just, oh, I feel like, oh, I feel like right. I'm all warm and fuzzy inside. It's just, oh, it's so It's what makes soft. everyone feel like. Oh, delicious. Um, oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Right, uh, so. I don't know how you can beat that, but we might as well keep the show rolling. Now we're on the fourth thing. Fourth reason. Yes. yes. Party well, money. Party money. Our now what party exactly? Money jar. What exactly do we keep in here? Oh. Well, wow, we like this to is... keep money. Usually there's some knickknacks. No doubt. Wow. Let's try. Year old. Very. Twizzler. Very old. Year old. Twizzler. 
very, very old. Might want to put it down. Somewhat hard. Yeah. Not enjoyable in Don't the least. Definitely not enjoyable. No. So we have some of oh, this here. We have here. some money. Mm -hmm. Ah. Saving. No doubt for guess. In, right. in need. Guess in need. Right. Yes. Right. That's yes. Right. I'm in need. So what? Oh, wow. I love. I love Jolly Ranchers. I simply. I just. They are the greatest in the history of time. I just love these. Now this, this machine here, how does this operate exactly? Whoa. They don't come out. They don't come out. No, you need a quarter. A qu do you have a quarter? No. No we quarter. We just have all our change, okay. so maybe we can get it out. Uh, yes, well. <clears throat> Let's move on to our fifth, fifth reason. greatest thing in the history of time. It's like the seventh it wonders, here? if you will. This is the fifth reason. Ah, clothing optional beyond this point. Interesting. Okay, okay. It's, it's just a sign. It's not oh. a rule. Oh, You're, oh, okay. my mistake. Okay. My mistake. You, you don't have to fall the sign. Right. It's just a sign. What else do we have here? This, this is, is the uh, master bedroom. I enjoy this music. Me too. Very nice. Makes me think of my 60s days. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. This, your bed. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh. <coughs> what else do we have here? Well, my bed, roommate's bed. Roommate's bed. You ever put the beds together? No, we're not like No. Oh. That's that's unfortunate, really. You should try it. You have? Someday, when we have cameras. Sometimes I enjoy it. It's Okay, you're sketchy. Hello. Senior correspondent, the Bentley Report. My name's Michael Muldoon. What are you doing later? Okay. You guys put your beds together too? Hello. Michael Muldoon, senior correspondent, the Bentley Report. Hi. Mind if I join you on this plushness of a bed? Maybe. Hmm. Oh, hello. Did you just get out of the shower? Yeah. Would you like to take another one with me, Michael Muldoon, senior news correspondent for the Bedroom Report? Oh, another one bites the dust. This has been Michael Muldoon. You better know a dorm room. Thank you for coming to Casa overnight. Thank you, Michael. Wow, that was unbelievable. Tune in next week for part two of 463, Better Know a Dorm Room. And now for the long-awaited interview, the exclusive interview with Dave Firestein that we've been promising all show long. And he is now finally in the studio. Dave, nice to have you here. Glad to be here, John. Now, Dave, I understand that you'll be uh, graduating early this year. Yeah, I'll be a senior. I'm graduating this year. Okay. That's great. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, what your, uh, what your major is. How's your GPA doing? Uh, my GPA is okay at a 3.97. Uh, currently a corporate finance and accounting major with a minor in business law. 3.97, Dave. Seems like you've been slacking off a little bit, eh? Eh, a little bit. <laughs> now, see, when I was in college, my GPA... Well, I never really graduated college, so that's... <laughs> That's a minute point there. But anyway, so now I understand that you worked at J.P. Morgan last summer. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, uh, at J.P. Morgan, um, I worked in the M&A group, the Mergers and Acquisitions group there. Mm -hmm. And I started out working on a $8 billion LBO. Mm -hmm. um, I then worked on a uh, $5 plus billion undisclosed steel deal. Now, an LBO, what is an LBO? That's a leveraged buyout. It basically oh, okay. has to do with... Uh, where you take, it usually involves a private equity firm or a mm -hmm. private equity shop. Mm -hmm. um, it puts in a portion of equity, usually 20, 30 percent, and it levers up the company with roughly 70, 80 percent worth of debt, thus making the internal rate of return very high. Wow, that is some pretty complicated stuff. I have no idea what you just said there, but I'm, uh, I'm going to go with it. So uh, that sounds great. So I understand also that you worked at Sun Life Trust. Is that what I, is that what, did I hear that correctly? Uh, it was uh, Sun Trust Robinson Fund. <laughs> of course. Okay. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, there I worked basically on, on the Medical Technology Supply and Devices Quarterly Report. It was a one-of-a-kind report put out 
by very, you know, most investment banks don't put out a report of this style other than a research division. Okay. Um, it included a substantial public and private database broken down with 20 plus subsectors within the medical technology as well as uh, medical uh, supplies, devices, as well as healthcare services companies. Mm -hmm. Um, I also, it also, the report included news, financings, VC fundings, IPOs, and valuation metrics and operating statistics for various companies in the field. But also at my time there, we worked on some IPOs, and unfortunately, the director of the firm actually just moved to a, a five plus billion dollar private firm, and the analyst just moved over to Jeffries. Um, uh huh. Okay. But it was a, it was a great experience, okay, John. Good. Wow, that, that. That is some pretty in-depth, complicated stuff that you have going on there. Let me ask you a question. How is it that you get such prestigious internships? I mean, is this, is this an easy thing to do? Do you just do you have connections? Do you just walk in there? How, how, what is the process of all this? Well, the process for me started uh, first year in school, my first spring. Now, I entered a year ahead as a sophomore mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I came with a lot of AP credit. So starting that spring of that first year, I basically Got, was able to secure an internship in New York, a very small bank. Uh, by doing, by having them take the chance on me, mm -hmm. um, I was able to come back to Boston. Being in Boston is a very unique opportunity because there's a lot of small banks. Do you like Boston? Oh, it's a great place. I love the Red Sox. Love and, uh, the Red Sox. A big Sox fan? Oh, big Sox fan. Big Sox. Okay. Now, would you, you know, Boston or New York, where, where do you think you're going to be working? Uh, well, I've already signed on in New York. In New York? Yes. So you're going to become a Yankees fan? Uh, <laughs> we talk about that defense. You said you're a Sox fan. You think no Sox? Come on. Well, Let's if I'm out, if I'm out with an MD and he's a Yanks fan, I'm gonna have to be a Yanks fan. <laughs> that is. <laughs> I hope you learned something good in this from the producers of this show. You know. That's why I make one hundred sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to raise that. Uh, <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about you. Who are you? Who is? Dave Firestein. What makes Dave Firestein tick? What makes me tick? Yeah, tell us well, some it's, interesting it's, it's, things. it's difficult to make me tick. I mean, I usually don't get angry at people. Okay. Uh, um, it's rare where you'll see me angry. Mm -hmm. uh, I usually try and be friends with as many people as I can. And that's, uh, that's sort of my strategy. But, uh, it's a big Facebook fan? Big Facebook fan. I love the new mini feed. I think it's a great way to, to figure out what people are doing and keep on top of things. Um, mm -hmm. Many love. people have called this mini feed a sort of like a stalker net. You don't feel that's. Well, I, th I, I think that's taken it to the extreme. Taken I think it allows people to understand where people are and mm -hmm. what they're doing at any time. At any time and I think, I think if they're posting pictures up there of them drinking, that you should be able to know what's going on. You should be able to know, hey, they're drinking. If they're a single, if they, they used to be they in a relationship, up, that should be single. you. That hey. should be you. Be a, hey, hey, you want to go out? That's the time for you to, you know, you step in. That's, That's one opinion. Idea. That's yeah. one opinion. Um, all right. Well, just just uh, wrapping up here in con conclusion here, I got director or what nice telling me to hustle it along here. Just why don't you just tell me who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite singer? Is it uh, favorite Paris singer? Hilton. Paris Hilton. Oh, yeah. Do you enjoy? Did you see her music video by any chance? Oh, I thought it was a great video. Great. I She's love actually it. been on the Billboard charts for eight weeks. She's number eighteen. That is. That's impressive, impressive, right? I'm impressed over Lindsay Lohan, that. over Hilary Duff. That is. I impressive think she could. She could be very, very uh, good. Okay, Dave. Listen. Uh, just one last note before we go. Personal life. Ladies out there, probably want to know on the show. Uh, I haven't had much of a personal life. <laughs> okay, <so real. laughs> I'm a big, I'm uh, a big player. <laughs> and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Dave Firestein, a big player. And that concludes the Bentley Report. I've been your host, John Spencer. Get the hell out of here, everybody. Show's over. Goodbye. <laughs>
Catholic college has found a way to combine fast food with quick workouts. This, of course, will allow our students to maintain healthy lifestyles and something, something, something. How much is so much? Like, like, All right. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. What? So, Michael Muldoon. Michael Muldoon. Mike, how are, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, no. Mike, how are you? He's getting how you doing, John? Mike, Mike, how are you? I'm pretty good, John. Well, the news apparently is not. Mike, as your research <laughs> suggests, <laughs> it's fine as nobody interested in this paper. And then he comes back. That does seem like an excellent idea, Mike. I think we should just have a show of him doing this. I know, he's amazing. It's hilarious. Oh, my God. Well, you know. Look at her maker. There we go. Yeah, I hate you guys. I really do. Well, it's not here. Okay, just don't like the I'm wrong, but really like, How dare you? Hold on. Hold on. Ha 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 Okay. So like, see your correspondent, family report, Mike Maldi, how you doing? Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy. I'm being attacked now. This is my first show, just remember that. My first show. Just remember my first. This is the first show, okay, folks? Let's not let everybody get their panties in a bunch, okay? First show. I think I should act like this on the show. <laughs> 